So we're absolutely thrilled to win the Thermo Scientific TMT award because it's going to enable us to do lots of really cool experiments that it would have been difficult for us to do otherwise. So the interest that we have in my lab is the spatial proteome. So proteins in a cell don't just turn up wherever they fancy, it's not just a bag of proteins, but proteins have to traffic to the right part of the cell where they meet their binding partners and they can carry out their function in a context-specific manner. And we've been working on developing methods for some while now to be able to capture the, the spatial proteome in a single experiment. Our aim is to be able to identify thousands of proteins and give each one of them a, an address. And what we found is that around half of the proteins in the cell live in more than one place. So they're of no fixed abode. And working out where they go and what proportions are in each uh, part of the cell is really very important because what we do know is when this process goes wrong and proteins end up in the wrong place, this can lead to some pretty awful diseases. Now there are many reasons why a protein could end up in the wrong place. Uh, one of them could be to do with the binding partners that they find, it could be to do with post-translational modification. It could also be to do with where the proteins are synthesised, so where translation takes place. So why we're so excited to receive this award is that we're going to start looking at the links between metabolism and where a protein ends up. So our thoughts are that uh, metabolism and protein location are, are linked, and they're linked, we think, through acylation. So this is proteins that through their lysine amino acids will pick up acylation such as succinylation, malonylation and glutarylation. Our method, which we call hyperlopit, which is our spatial method, we've developed over the years uh, with isotope tags. So we have developed protocols involving TMT. And the reason that we use TMT is for the multiplexing capacity. So we take our cells and fractionate them. Each fraction gets a different TMT tag. So we've developed our protocol using Thermo Scientific's Orbitrap Lumos. And we're going to be using this uh, platform that we've developed in conjunction with enrichment, using antibody enrichment for acylated peptides to determine whether the levels of acylation are different in different parts of the cell for different proteins and to have a look at the impact of acylation on the final spatial location of the proteome.